What I'm about to share with you will change your world. You see, you were told all wrong. You do not need a 20% down payment to purchase a house. In fact, there are four ways in which you can buy a house. Two of the ways I'm gonna share with you, it costs you no money out of pocket. That's right, no money down, zero down payment. So pull up a chair, grab a pen and a piece of paper. You're gonna to wanna to write these down. Before we jump in, my name's Wayne Turner. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. For nearly 30 years, I've done just about everything when it comes to real estate. So I can promise you going to Wayne Turner TV com every single day you will learn something new and beneficial about real estate as i'd mentioned there's four ways that you can purchase a property one of which is called fha the second is conventional the third is va and usda is the fourth the rural development loan now here's the difference in those the latter two the va and the usda you only need basically a thousand dollars to purchase those properties with fha the federal housing administration you're going to need three and a half percent and with a conventional loan you're going to need five percent down now that's not all you're going to need out of pocket, unfortunately. And here's why that's unfortunate, because you have to have the seller pay your closing costs. Now, closing costs are basically what they use to start your escrow account. And your escrow account is that of which is held by your mortgage company. So they pay your taxes and insurance through your escrow account. Now, keep in mind, they want you to have an escrow account because they wanna make sure that they're paying your taxes for you and paying your insurance for you on your behalf. So any type of mortgage, conventional VA, FHA, USDA, RD, you will have an escrow account. There's no charge to have an escrow account, but they want you to have an escrow account and they have to start an escrow account when you purchase the property and that's where closing costs and prepaids come in. Now the closing costs and prepaids are basically the lender fee that they charge you up front, your insurance to start your escrows and your property taxes, right? So all that's accumulated. Now what that equates to is three and a half percent of the purchase price of your property. So you gotta keep that in mind, three and a half percent, right? So if you get an FHA loan, you're gonna have three and a half percent down, and then you're gonna have three and a half percent closing cost. But the good thing is the seller can pay all of your closing cost, and they do 99% of the time. You just have to make sure that you ask for all of your closing costs to be paid by the seller. And how you do that, I know I stuttered a little bit there, go with me, we're all human. How you do that is you get your real estate agent, a tried and true, experienced, knowledgeable, professional real estate agent, who's got experience, I know I've said that more than once, to negotiate for you the closing cost, to ask for the closing cost. That way, when you purchase a home through an FHA loan, a VA loan, conventional or USDA, all of your closing costs are paid. And when your closing costs are paid, it only takes the down payment for you to purchase the property. Now, something that's really important to know, of course, is you gotta have a job. You gotta have income coming in on a consistent basis, right? And you also have to have two years of tax returns. Now, as far as your credit score, your credit score has to be a 620 or higher. Now, even if your credit is 560, 540, 580, I did another video, we produced that. I'll put a link below. You can click on that video and watch that. Stay with me here though. But when you watch that video, it's gonna show you how to bump your credit score because they do this thing called a rapid rescore with mortgage lenders. So that we can show you exactly what you need to do today to jump your credit score 50, 60 points in the next 30 to 60 days. So you can go buy a house. Now look, I know a lot of people say, well, Wayne, if you don't put 20% down, you're gonna have to pay PMI. Well, it ain't that expensive and it doesn't last forever. Now, if you get an FHA loan, you're pretty much stuck paying private mortgage insurance. And listen, PMI as they call it, it's a mortgage insurance premium that you pay on a monthly basis. The PMI, the private mortgage insurance, is an insurance policy that's taken out basically on you and the mortgage in case you default on the loan, the insurance is covering the lender. Now look, it's a little bit different with conventional. When you get a conventional loan, you're putting down 5%. You ask the seller to pay your closing cost. Always ask for a warranty. It won't hurt. The seller can pay for it. Five or 600 bucks. Most sellers are gladly to pay it if you're willing to purchase their property. But when you put a 5% down on a property, you're still going to have to have private mortgage insurance. You're still going to pay a mortgage insurance premium. However, once you have 22% equity in the property, it's supposed to come off. They're supposed to take that off. But they don't always do that. 
So I always tell people, once you feel like you have 20% equity in the property, make a phone call to the mortgage company, tell them that you have 20% equity, and you do that by either having the property appraised or calling a real estate agent and saying, hey, what do you think my property's worth? Most of them will do that for free. I know we do that, and it just takes about two to three minutes. That way you know what your property's worth. You can contact the mortgage company and have your private mortgage insurance removed, and that will take that two to three hundred dollars that you're paying on a monthly basis off of your mortgage payment. Now go with me here. If you put 20% down on a $200,000 house, that's $40,000. If your PMI is $250, $300 a month, divide the $250, $300 a month into the $40,000. You see, that's called a recovering cost. And oftentimes it's really, really hard to come up with cash, especially 20%. And that's why I tell people, you don't have to put 20% down on a piece of property. What if four or five years ago, you've been saving this whole time to purchase a property and put 20% well, you could have bought a house four or five years ago, been paying the mortgage payment, paying the balance down, and equity is gained because that house is now worth a whole lot more than what you bought it for four or five years ago. Now here's a good one. It's the third way and it's VA. That's the Veterans Administration. The Veterans Administration, the federal government says if you have an honorable discharge, you've served in the military, whether active or inactive duty, you can purchase a house and they will insure that loan. Now insuring a VA loan means that you don't have to pay private mortgage insurance. That lender doesn't need to take out that insurance policy that I'd mentioned to cover in case you default on the loan. That is covered by federal government. Now don't forget, even though it's a 100% loan and it's insured by the federal government, which saves you on your monthly payment, you still have to have the seller pay your closing costs, which are going to run you three to three and a half percent of your purchase price of the property. So don't forget about that. If you're a veteran and you want to purchase a home this way, you basically need your DD-214, but you also have to have the seller pay your closing cost. Otherwise, it's not a 100% loan. So the fourth one is a no money down, no money out of pocket home loan. It's called USDA, United States Department of Agriculture. Now these are loans loans that they call a rural development loan because you have to be on the outskirts, if you will, of the city limits. So if you want to live 30 to 40 miles outside of major city limits, this is definitely the loan for you. And the reason for that is the seller pays your closing cost, costs you no money out of pocket. The seller can also purchase a one-year home warranty for you. Plus, get this, plus you can use this to purchase investment property. That's right. You can use it to purchase investment property. But here's the way it works. You have to live in one of the units. For example, if you buy a duplex, a triplex, a quadruplex, one of those units you have to live in, but only for one year. So as long as you live in one of the units for a minimum of one year, then you can literally turn around and put a tenant in the unit that you were living in. So think about that. Now you literally can purchase investment property, duplex, triplex, quadruplex. You could be making thousands of dollars on a monthly basis and it costs you no money out of pocket. So look, there's thousands of people that do this every single year and purchase properties this way. I've got agents all around the country. Of course, any of those can help you regardless of what city, town, state that you're living in. But most importantly, just do your research. Watch videos, educate yourself as much as possible so you can become comfortable with the circumstance and situation. Because most importantly, you have to know that the opportunity is there for you. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't let anybody tell you you can't purchase a house. Because if you've been on the job for two years, you have a 620 or higher credit score, you can buy a house and it doesn't cost you any money out of pocket. Now, one of the most asked questions is, Wayne, if I'm living in a rural area, oftentimes there's modular homes where these are double wide modular homes that are put on a piece of land. Can I purchase that property through these loan types and these loan programs? The answer is yes. However, the home itself has to be on what they call a permanent foundation. And that's where they dig what they call a footing in the ground. They pour it with concrete. They put big steel bars and they strap the property to the earth, to the ground, just like a traditional stick built house and once it's strapped down it's connected to the earth you can get a loan VA FHA conventional and USDA and VA and USDA as I mentioned cost you no money out of pocket so look I share all this information with you not to scare you into buying a house or tell you that you have to buy a house you have to do you you have to be comfortable with the process but just know that we're here and we're available if you need any sort of assistance or help you can go to contactwayne.com and at that site you can book a call with me personally to kind of pick my brain and ask me questions and figure out what you want to do do you want to buy land do you want to buy a house do you want to buy multifamily properties I take the time to work with you and there's no cost to do that call it's just something that 
I feel blessed to be as knowledgeable as I am with real estate. And so what we try to do is help as many people as we can. And then in return, we ask that you subscribe to the channel and share our information and pass it on to someone else that you think would benefit.